what is being sought with this letter here is something that is very basic and which is very simple. It's a predictability in allocation of cases to particular benches. In the Supreme Court, there are a large number of benches, there are a large number of judges, right? Um, and so therefore, there's got to be a system, you know, and there is a system by which cases are allocated to particular judges. Now, what, what the four most senior judges, four uh, out of five most senior judges are saying is that that predictability has been getting lost um, uh, recently. And that predictability, they are saying, goes to the heart of justice. And, and, you know, many of us feel that this to be true, that this goes to the heart of justice, that when a litigant comes or when a general public, you know, comes for justice to, to the Supreme Court, which is the last court, then they must feel that justice is done, that it's not an arbitrary way in which their case has suddenly been allocated to someone. Um, now, a lot of people are saying that Judge Loya's case was the case that triggered this. And while this it may, it may have triggered uh, uh, it may have triggered the press conference, it certainly did not trigger this letter because this letter was issued, I think, on the sixth of November, and the story was broken by caravan on the twentieth of November um, of the cloud around Justice Loya's death. Um, and he here I think there are a number of cases that they are concerned with. Um, and I think that look, a lot of people have been talking about propriety. And when we look at our republic, when we look at our constitutional history, we must take a longer view. Um, Indira Gandhi had tried to suspend our fundamental rights and the only reason she succeeded was because a number of our judges at the time had um, agreed to this. And um, the one judge that dissented, H.R. Khanna, is a hero of our times. And it is this dissent that has been elevated to a judgment, uh, to a majority judgment in the Puttaswamy case. Uh, and in the Puttaswamy case, our Supreme Court has overruled ADM Jabalpur and a very dark, uh, dark part of our history. And this is something, and it is a dissent like this that has kept our constitutional identity the way it is, because otherwise we would have had a Supreme Court of 100% saying that the fundamental rights of citizens may be suspended. May we never have such a dark period again.